What's going on, beautiful people? Machiavelli Mills TV. So look, y'all, Harlem, New York rapper Dave East was on a Smoke Champs podcast, and he recently felt that he said that he felt like he was born in the wrong era of hip hop, right? He feel like he getting busy in the wrong era, and he feels like he belongs in the era before this one, right? And when he says that, I'm thinking he's talking about maybe the 90s era, so on and so forth, and he feel like he belongs in that era, and he probably feels that he would have been he would have been more appreciated during that time. And I wholeheartedly disagree with the brother, right? And I say that because back in the 90s, the early 90s to mid 90s to even to even the late 90s, brothers was getting busy. They was rapping, they was spitting. They had like supreme lyrical content. Like that was what they was doing on the regular. And I think Dave may have gotten outshined. I feel like he may have gotten lost in the sauce with that era because dudes can rap lyrically like he can and even better. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know if he would have been able to really be standing out as strongly during that time. I mean, you know, the girls, the ladies like how he looks, but I don't know if he would have been sticking out that much with dudes that was rapping even better than him during that era, right? So then I'm thinking, okay, maybe if he was talking about 2002 to maybe 2005, around that era, I'm thinking, man, what, what, Jigga, 50, Tip, Kanye, like even Nelly, like and Nelly not like looked at as like a super, super lyricist, but I still feel like Nelly had bars for real. He had lyrics. I don't care what nobody say. I listen to Nelly, Country Grammar and stuff like that. Lines, he had some lyrics for real, for real. But of course, okay, we know he ain't the same lyrically as uh, uh, a Tip or a Jigga or, or, or Kanye, right? But nonetheless, I'm thinking about it. if he was in that era with those guys, Dave East, Dave, I don't, he wouldn't have been able to sustain, like, to really, I don't think his career would have propelled to new heights during that era because I don't think he, he doesn't have the, I don't, it's not a, I don't think, Dave don't have the hit making ability of those artists. He can't make, like, hits that those artists make, man, like, for real. And, and he wouldn't have been able to meet to stay afloat with those heavyweight giants in hip hop, like, Think about it. When the last time Dave has ever had, I need someone to just hit records for real. When the last time Dave has had a song that really stuck with you, that really impacted you, and you felt like, damn, that shit was powerful. That was something. What song Dave had recently that really moved you? You can't really, you can't think of none, right? So I think Dave, thinking he's thinking he's unappreciated in, in this era, and the reason why is that Dave just hasn't shown any growth as an artist to make certain strides in his career. He hasn't shown growth as an artist, y'all, and it's clear to see. And look, I was a person that came, like, um, I got uh, put on a day's music in 2015. I think he dropped a song that uh, that Deposits Freestyle. He was rapping over the Kodak, back, the Kodak Black uh, Skrilla beat, right? And I was impressed. I'm like, damn, dude, Cole, he nice. He got some, he got a lyrical ability. He got a flow. He can give me the old school New York vibes, the old school grimy type sound and feel. I'm like, I, 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 I fool with dude music for sure, for sure, right? And then I run at the same time I heard KD. Um, I heard the um Keisha track. Uh, then he dropped the Kyrie Chanel project. But I'm gonna be real with y'all. As a Dave East fan, Dave hasn't shown any growth as an artist since the Kyrie Chanel project. And that's a problem. Dave seems to have already peaked in his career. It's been six years since I first heard Dave Dave. And again, we don't have one monumental song from Drake. I mean from, from Drake, from Dave. Since what, the, the KD or Keisha song or the Chris Brown joint? And even them songs ain't even hit like they were supposed to. They didn't have the stand power like they were supposed to. And so now we left with what, Dave just around trying to make put out music now. And we left with him making comments like this. And I'm not even trying to disrespect Dave. I'm just being honest as a Dave, Dave East fan. For real, I've been checking for Dave and Dave ain't really moved me since the Kyrie Chanel project. All of Dave's songs literally sound the same. Since 2017, all them songs that he putting out sound the same for real. Like to me, it just sounds like the same tracks over and over again. You can literally switch out a Dave East verse with another one of his verses. Excuse me. You can switch out a Dave East verse with another one of his verses from a whole nother song. And the song will sound exactly the same. Exactly the same. I'm not kidding y'all. I'm not bullshitting like for real. You won't notice the difference in a song. If you switch out a verse from one song and put it in the next, it's going to feel like it fit right in place because his songs all have been sounding the same since 2017 to me. Same flow, same subject matter, same cadence, and it's just like it's getting repetitive and, uninter and uninteresting even for Dave East fans like myself, for real. Same subject matter, you selling dope, somebody come cross you for you selling the dope, uh, you moving weight, you pulling somebody chick, you hitting somebody chick. Um, you get money. It's just the same type of stuff. And I expected more from him as an artist because 
when you're claiming to be an artist of substance or a real spitter, or you saying that you belong in that era of yesteryear, you're supposed to be able to be versatile as an artist. You're supposed to be able to mix it up, use different flows, use, use different cadences to stay interesting on a beat. Artists that put like for real, you have to be able to separate yourself as an artist and not like, okay, when we first hear you, we like, okay, that's dope. But at the same time, we're going to get tired of hearing that same sound come from you. We want to hear something different. And again, he just, it seems like he's making the same songs over a different beat, right? Dave's problem is he's too one dimensional in this era to really catch on with the young hip hop fans and the music fans. Like seriously, like, and, and a lot of people try to chalk it up to, oh man, these kids just like, they just like Lil Pump. They just like Lil Yachty. No, that's not true. I'm 28 years old. I'm around other individuals that are younger than me and even that are in my age range. And they not they not checking for Dave because they like artists that are they like dope artists. They like Kendrick Cole. They like all the dope uh, fly artists that like really they really have something to say with substance. It's just those artists have versatility about themselves. They can switch it up. They can use different flows. It's not sounding repetitive. They can really be interesting over a beat. And they don't sound the exact same way that they sounded when we first discovered them. That's the thing with Dave. He's sounding the same way since I first discovered him. And it's like, now I'm like, bro, okay, what's going to come next now? You know what I mean? So it's not the hip hop fans fault. Like they just ain't catching on or whatever he putting down. It's just what he putting down ain't, is not interesting enough. It's just not he putting down the same old, same old, right? Like for real, man. Like when I heard him rap over Roddy Rich's The Box, like when I heard that the shit was so unnecessary, I'm like, why is he rapping over this? When he not gonna he not gonna add nothing different or nothing new to the song at all. He didn't add nothing new, nothing refreshing. It just sounded like a throwaway Dave E song that didn't make his mixtape. I ain't say didn't make his album. It sounded like a song that didn't even make his mixtape for real. It wasn't even worthy of an of an East mix. No lie. Like I'm like, bro, what the hell? Like it, he didn't bring nothing to the song. He didn't switch up his flow one bit. And I can speak for everybody. Nobody wanted to hear him rap over the box after we know how he rap in the first place. Like, if you're not going to do something different with it, you're not going to try to make it something unique. You're not going to be, you're going to do the same old Dave East. We ain't going to be feeling that. And he heard it from the fans and he got killed for it because it was not good. Seriously, nobody said he can't rap. It's not like he can't put words together and all of that. It's just like, bro, it's not, it's not catching because it's just like, people not feeling it, man. Like, and again, I didn't want to hear him over the box. I want to hear new original songs from Dave East that don't all sound the same. He's become stagnant as an artist now, and now he's in limbo because, and he feels like all the fans don't appreciate me because I ain't in this era, that era. Like, I would have been appreciated more in that era. Like, nah, bro, I think you might have gotten lost in the sauce in that era. I think now is the time that he should be flourishing in. He just needs to find a way, a, a new niche, not a new niche, but figure out something different in order to have staying power. That's what he needs to do. Seriously, this is the era for him to thrive in. Like, no lie, the chicks like him. He can do something different and, and, and still be unique and stand out. It's just like, that stuff he's doing now, like, it's just, it's just not catching because it's just, it's repetitive, man. It's like nobody, like, nah, bro, we want to see something.